All right, so now we're going to do section 7.3 on the slope of a line. So here's some different lines. Uh, here's a line that just goes up gradually. It has a uh, shallow slope. Slope. Here's a very steep line that goes up rapidly. This has a steep slope. Here's one that's flat. This has zero slope. It doesn't go up or down. Here's one that goes down. It has a negative slope. An interesting thing that lines have is when I graph a line, let me just make up a line here. Here's a thing that lines do. Say I start right here. This line has kind of a rule that goes with it. If I move to the right by 2, I go up 1. So I'm going to go right 2, up 1. And then from here, that gives me the next point. Then from here, I can go right 2 and up 1. That'll give me another I could do this forever. No matter where I'm at on this line, if I move two to the right and go up one, I'll be back on the line. That just always happens. All lines have this property where you get this fixed rule, move this far to the right and this far up, or this far to the right and this far down, or this far to the left and this far down, or whatever, you get it. You can make this rule this rule right here defines something that they call the slope, and the slope they define as the rise over the run. Or, as I like to say, how far do you move up over how far do you move to the right? In our case right here, the slope is how far you move to the right, which is on the bottom, that's two, and how far up, one, so the slope is one half. If I have a graph, let's say I have a rule where I go over 1 and up 2, and over 1 and up 2. Here the rule is, so the slope is how far do I move to the right is on bottom, I move right one. And how far do I move up? I move two, so the slope is two over one, which is just two. Pretty easy. Thing to keep in mind. Here's another one. This one I'm gonna move one, two, three to the right. Oops. And then I'm going to move down two. Right, so this will be my rule. And by the way, that was a line. Three to the right, one, two, three to the right, down one, down two. There's my next point. There's a line. This one, the slope, is how far did I move to the right? That's on bottom. 
And how far did I go up? Jessica, how far did I go up? Yes, that's right. I went down, so that means I moved up negative 2. So the slope here is negative 2 thirds. And that's what we saw before, right? Negative slopes are slopes that are going down. And yeah, yeah, you can always, um, if you always choose to go left to right, then you never have to worry about it. If you go right to left, then you can get a minus sign down here, but then you would get a plus up here, so it'd still be negative. Um, but just always go left to right, and you'll be fine. So that you should always have a positive number on the bottom. Okay, so let's do... So, two points define a line. Let's say I have a line that's defined by the two points, um, 3 comma negative 2 and the point... Uh, I don't know, negative 4 comma 1. These two make a line. I want to ask, what is the slope? First, I'm just going to plot them out just to see. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. There's the point 3, negative 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. There's the point 4, negative 4, 1. Looks like my slope's going to be negative. I said the slope equals uh, how far I went up over how far I went to the right, or as they like to say, the rise over the run. Okay, and like I said, always just work left to right. It makes life a lot easier. You don't have to, um, but if you do, there are no surprises ever. I started at negative 4. I ended at positive 3. How far did I go to the right? Yes, I went 7 to the right. How far did I go up? I started at 1, and I ended up at negative 2. How far did I go up? Yes, I went up negative 3. Now, without drawing it, how could I do that? Yeah, you subtract, if you want to know how far you went in x, you subtract the x's. That tells you the distance that you went in x's. In our case, that was x. I went from 3, or negative 4, to 3, which is 3 minus negative 4. Remember, subtraction tells me the distance between two numbers. And I, that was supposed to be on the bottom. And on top, I'm going to have how far I moved up. I started at 1, and I, sub and I ended at negative 2, so it's negative 2 minus 1, negative 3 over 7. Now, the book writes this in this very awkward and cumbersome formula. I was never very happy with this, which is if you have two points, x1, y1, and another point, x2, comma, y2, then the slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
it looks like something you're supposed to memorize or something. I, I'm not terribly fond of it, but... Sorry, I got distracted. Um, I'll show you an easier way. You don't have to memorize this. I mean, you can if you know it. It's, if you have it 